Welcome YouTubers and students, this is Darby again and today once again we're working with Krita. I want to show you a few quick things that I picked up, couldn't find what I wanted, so I made it. Um, so let's go over here, we're going to use, uh, this is our brush tool, we're going to drop down here to our assistant tool, click on that, and then right over here, you're going to have lots of various different things to pick on. Very fun stuff to mess with, I like the fish eye, it was kind of nice. Um, I think I'm going to use the parallel um, ruler quite a bit and the vanishing point quite a bit. So let's go to vanishing point because I love that. And then uh, we're going to just uh, put a vanishing point way up here. Fill that out. Okay. Fabulous. And uh, then I'm going to go grab a brush. And I'll have that. And I go right over here. And I'm going to hit Assistant. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but my screen's kind of jerky. It's probably because I'm on a Mac. I see a lot of lines that won't be there once I click a button. But anyways, so now all my lines should go tr straight towards that point. And I am just moving my mouse, even when I go, you know, this angle ways here every way you can't go the wrong way so I'm gonna go over here and change the opacity down to really low okay what yeah really low uh, no. okay, well, let me add another layer just for the heck of it um, I'm gonna go back over here and then I'm gonna grab uh, Actually, let's get rid of that. Um, and then I'm going to grab this perspective box tool. And I'm going to just draw. Some lines out here. I actually kind of like these blocks here because they help me stay in line here. There you go. Okay, so now we have our rectangle, our back of our room, if you will. Um, let's say I want to pull a wall here. I'll gr if you grab this one, it's actually going to move the wall. So what I'm going to do here, grab the center one, pull it down to right about there, and then grab this top one, pull it all right about there. Same thing, right about there. Grab this one, right about there, let's say I pull a center one right about here, and I'll just move this into position there. I'll lock that there and lock that there. Uh, then I will grab my brush tool. And so now, so I want to go back over here, turn that on. And so now I can see. If I wanted to draw a room in one point perspective, I could see where I'd actually put things. So let's say I wanted a table here. So I'm going to click that straight line button here. And I'm just going to pull a line there, line there. Okay. And let's say I draw my line straight down. Draw my line straight down. Okay. Get rid of that. Oh, goof. goofed. Uh, let's see here. We're going to make sure you're on a separate layer here. Getting ahead of myself. So let's try that again. Let's uh, grab a straight line, and I'm going to drive a straight line, and I'm going to go from here. Nice and straight. And I'll go from here. Nice and straight. I'll go from here, follow my perspective line, and uh, let's say we'll grab uh, here and we'll go down right there. I'll grab you and keep going, and then I will. This needs to. I got a little shaky there for some reason. 
It's a little more or less. I know that's kind of. Let's just control Z that. Fix that. We'll go from this side. Up. Okay, now let's uh, close that. And now we have a whatever the heck that is in perspective. Uh, if you have any questions, I know this is kind of uh, quick and uh, kind of unscripted, but uh, I think that illustrates the point on how to use those wonderful tools. The biggest thing that I kept making a mistake on um, when I'm a tool assistant, um, no matter if I put perspective, uh, let's not go with perspective, let's go with parallel, parallel ruler, and I went with this brush here. And I'll put this right here. I didn't always have the assistant on. When you don't have the assistant on, you're all over the place. Um, but if you actually clicked on the assistant, I got boo booed on that one, didn't I? I did. Bad Darby. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so to start all over uh, for this section here, um, big things about using the assistant here. If you do not have uh, this X on here, you're going to get all over the place. So all you have to do is hit the assistant and then make sure we have this on here. And let's say that is your, your line. Then you hit your paintbrush tool. Make sure the assistant's on. And then all your lines, even when you go this way, you can't go that way. So that's how you do the parallel lines. But if you do not have uh, those things clicked in a certain order, that I just went over, then you're not going to have that. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I would experiment uh, with the different um, assistant tools. Lots of fun stuff. All right. Uh, if you need to get rid of these, you can just click the little red circle or the red X's on the uh, the perspective grids. Uh, thanks for watching. Comments and uh, likes are appreciated. Have a good one.